and he is the senior driver in that team. He is the team leader, but he's going to have a young man coming in who's got charisma, who's a great racer, who's quick, and who's going to have a big future, and that's Jack Villeneuve. Little puff of smoke from the back of Olivier Panis is uh, Ligier Mugen and a bigger puff of smoke, but it was on the braking and oh no, it looks a bit more serious than I thought at first. Oh yes, that's not just lifting off, that's on par as well. And there's something you can almost hear, there's almost like a cylinder down. That engine is not a V10, it's a V9. That is the unique version of a V10 engine by the Mugen Honda Company and it will be doubtful that that engine will make it. There are three laps remaining at the end of this lap, and if Olivier Panis can get that car to the end, he will have done a very good job. Gianni Morbidelli, 26 seconds behind, and for Olivier Panis, he's just got to be, well, he's just got to baby it all the way to the end. So drama right down to the closing stages of this Australian Grand Prix is Olivier Panis going to get that Ligier through to the finish. Are Ligier going to be able to get past Jordan in the Constructors' Championship or are they going to lose that opportunity in the closing stages? Gianni Morbidelli still in third place. Blundell, Salo and Lamy all looking to move up. Olivier Panis in trouble in the Ligier Mugen. There's no doubt about it, but the question is, can he get it through to the end? Damon Hill still has uh, three laps to do, just crossed the line, in fact, and if Olivier Panis can just keep it running that bit longer, then he's got a chance, but second place may go by the board. Really what Olivier Panis needs is for Damon Hill to lap him before the end of this race to alleviate the stress and the knowledge that he's got an engine that is about to erupt at any second of course Gianni Morbidelli will be a well aware four seconds was the, the gap in terms of lap time between the Ligier and the footwork so scary moments to these for everybody in the Ligier pits and for a driver to get this far and with the thought of being on the podium in second place for the second time in his career of course that happened last year at the German Grand Prix at Hockenheim and everybody managed to take themselves out after Mika Hacken and misjudged and overtaking manoeuvre into the first corner. And Ligier gained enormous number of points in the championship in that one race.